Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your November, mid-November read for 2024. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and let's get started with your reading. Sag, I'll be looking at general energy, your love life and finances. So let's first look at uh, general energy for Sagittarius. What I'm liking about you is we have the King of Wands and the Chariot card. Now this is powerful energy. I do see this as you, male or female, not a gender specific reading. And the energy around this is one where you're making decisions, making choices and acting upon them. You know, not, not sitting on your hands. So here I get to acting upon, not procrastinating, yeah. I think in the past, an obstacle for you has been having perhaps a little too many choices, Sag, which sounds great, but the reality is for a lot of people and possibly you included here, Sagittarius, it's easier for you to make a choice, make a decision when you, when you focus in the energy bring bring it from big picture to to I need to focus on this now this is my need now and this is why I need to do it hope that that makes sense it could be a number of reasons it could be financial reasons it could be based on a need that uh, that you have at the present time but I, I get I get for you, you're making a, an important choice that's going to affect the rest of your life. Okay. For some of you, you're deciding to get married, uh, settle down, have a long-term relationship, move in with someone. For some of you, you could even be um, inviting someone to move in with you or you could be moving in with another person or you could even be deciding to buy a house together with someone. Now, it, it may not even be with someone else. You could be choosing to buy a house on, on your own or an apartment, whatever you decide to do here, guys. But it is a big decision. I feel with the Justice card here, you're making a decision that has long-term consequences but it is in the upright so it tells me that you'll make the right decision and this is going to make you very happy now i've got you here again i've got this as you not another person now for some of you this could be a partner again for some of you you may be uh, making a choice to move in with another person it could be an earth sign but it doesn't have to be okay but whatever this choice is, it, it, it feels good. It feels like you're, yeah, you're narrowing down choices. And, and I think that for a long time, you've been stuck trying to make a choice. What should I do? Where, sh where should I settle down? Where, where are my needs going to be met? Where will I feel the most content, the most fulfilled? And in love, I think for a lot of you, that has been a sticking point. I don't get you as someone who hasn't had choice, Sagittarius. You certainly have been. But again, these choices haven't felt good. For some reason here, Sagittarius, I feel you do better when you can focus on one choice and focus on the energy there don't don't get scattered or fragmented because the confusion leads you to getting stuck paralyzed and then you become ineffective and weaknesses come in and uh, look it all gets kind of crazy Sagittarius so for you it's all about focusing on what you want and uh, making the move again for some of you you could be moving um, distance i get 
physical relocation there with that Knight of Wands. When it comes to your finances, again, I get uh, throwing your hat in with somebody else here, Sagittarius. Making the choice. For a lot of you, it's a celebration. Wanting to get married. Could be with a Virgo. For some of you here with the Hermit card. Yeah. I think for a lot of you here, Sagittarius, at the latter half of the year, you're choosing a partner. Who might even be... Um, I get... For some of you, they could be a fire... We've got Earth here, we've got Cancer, we've got Libra, we've got um, Gemini here, and we've got Virgo. So, take your pick. That, that's the signs I've got. Sag. This feels stable. This feels like you're making a choice long term you're not mucking about nope nope i get you choosing for life sagittarius choosing a life choosing a life partner for some of you and saying you know this is it this is it thick or thin death to us part that kind of energy is this somebody you already know for a lot of you, I think that it will be. If it's not, it's, it seems like it's happening quite quickly this year. Let's have a look. Initially, Sagittarius, I feel the other person This is the other person's energy The Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords in Reverse And we've got another Four here with the, uh, with the Four of Wands Initially, I'm getting that the other person holds back and this may cause you to doubt whether this is the right thing for you. But ultimately, I see you being with this person, so I don't feel like it's going to take that much time. Let's see, one more card here. It could be that this person's just very overwhelmed. You know, you, you come into this person's life and sad you're a lot. You know, you are. And I get this person kind of stepping back, withdrawing a little bit. But I don't get it as a big major thing. I don't get like breakups or anything like that. Give it time, Sagittarius. Give it time. Yeah, because I feel this is your person coming in. King of Cups, this is your person. I think that they're just going to be quite overwhelmed because I, I do get them being feeling quite emotional towards you very early on, Sagittarius. And this might cause them to withhold a little bit initially, but I don't feel it's going to be too long before this person... Yeah, I, I get them coming in. I get them, I get a proposal here. Seems like you've got marriage here, you've got commitment. 
I don't get it in November, but possibly in December or January. November, I feel that the initial energy is here. You, you're with this person or you, you, you meet this person. And then I get this withholding for a little while. Again, not very long. Maybe a little bit of time apart and then coming in with a uh, with a proposal and i think that you're going to uh, your choice of course but it uh, it looks pretty good here guys it looks it's looking pretty good <laughs> sagittarius i'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best please do take care don't forget to like press that thumbs up button share me on your social media and uh, if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? Press that subscribe button. Thank you, guys. And if you're a newcomer, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in and finding me. And if you would like a private reading, don't forget, I am offering a special at the moment. If you would like more information, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Please take care and bye for now.